let's get started. Yeah, who's excited? Who wants to make some fucking money? Yeah! Yes. Okay, so what I want to start out with is really our goal of being here and why we're here. The focus is what I call almost passive income, right? And the idea is that truly passive income is more or less a myth, right? Truly passive income exists when you are rich enough that people essentially pay you to be rich. For everybody else, until you get to that point of net worth, I focus on almost passive income. So I'm going to go through the three phases of that and the different definitions of the types of almost passive income because it sort of sets the tone for everything that we're going to be going through here. If I can get my fancy thing. I don't have an easel. For those of you who have seen me speak before and only draw pictures, these will be a little bit different here. So the three phases of almost passive income, phase one is your mindset. Right, the reality is, no matter what I teach you, if your mindset is wrong, you're always going to struggle on some level with money. Everybody has blocks that come up at different levels. I'll be talking about that more throughout the day. But essentially, and when it comes to mindset, a big part of this is actually your mind. And this is something that really nobody talks about, is your brain, the capacity of your brain, increasing your brain's actual ability to function, which is why I'm going to be talking about steroids for your brain later today, and why Mr. Zimmerman is going to be talking about that as well. Um, and when it comes to, actually I'll go to that in a second. So phase two is going to be skill, what we call an exponential income skill. So most skills, even people that start to get paid well, they have what we call a high income skill. They may make $100, $200, $300, $400 an hour, $1,000 an hour, but they have to be trading their time for money. And that was always the thing that bothered me from essentially childhood was having to be present to do shit. I always liked money that wasn't dependent upon a certain amount of time. When I strung tennis rackets, most people took 30 minutes to an hour to string a racket. I got to the point I could string one in 15 minutes. Your laziness can be a huge gift if you use it to make yourself better at certain things. So exponential income skills, things like email copywriting, normal copywriting, media buying, there's a lot of different ones, but the idea is that you can put in a small fixed amount of work and create a disproportionate outcome of income, okay? And then phase three is assets. And this is almost passive income assets, is what we call these. So this is where you essentially own things that make you money, right? This is where you start to, whether it's owning your own email list, owning properties, owning crypto, owning NFTs. I might talk about those a little bit. Um, we're going to just, basically it's starting to own things and move from getting paid to do things to getting paid to own things. So these are the three phases. Now some people are going to be in phase two in this room. There's no reason to try and move through them quickly. What I'm going to be talking about tomorrow morning is how to use phase two to fund phase three. Okay? Is that clear to everybody? Everybody understands these three phases. We're going to be mainly focused on phases one and two today and phase two a bit, and three tomorrow. Cool? 